guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sharmeel, aka Classic Scrutiny. I hope that y'all are at home and taking good care of yourself. And if you are my new viewer, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because if you want to watch any new videos, y'all can definitely get a notification. So today this video is not about makeup at all. This video is basically on high request by the people who know me they know that i remove all my facial hair and my body hair by my own self i don't go to any beauty salon the reason is because here in melbourne or you can say in australia it's very expensive it's expensive because i compare my rates with indian rates so that's why it is otherwise if i don't compare it's it's not that expensive but of course if you are an Indian you will always convert your money and see if this is the proper rate that's what happens with me as well so in these two years I have been removing my facial hair my eyebrows and everything by my own self I have a few tools and few things which I use in order to remove them well I know you all are not able to go anywhere right now and you are not able to buy these products but I promise that these products are definitely available in chemists or any pharmacy because even I buy these products from pharmacies only I'm sure that any one of the products would be available so you don't really need to be very um, curious about it I know it's still available so don't worry I actually already removed my facial hair at least five to six days ago but just to make this video and just to show you all how to do it I am going to show you all how to remove your facial hair first I'll be talking about the things I use this is the first thing which I actually use in removing my facial hair this is the hair removal cream which you can use for removing your body hair as well I use this basically to remove my body hair these creams are perfect for removal of, of your body hair so I think you can use these at home it's easily available in chemists so you all can buy these second product which i use is a tweezer now tweezer is not for my facial hair tweezer is basically for shaping my eyebrows i think since one year uh, i haven't really gone to any beauty salon for my eyebrows i do my eyebrows by myself with a tweezer i mostly use a tweezer i don't need to use anything else i just pull my hair and I shape it by myself it is a bit painful not that painful I would say because you obviously are pulling your hair from roots so it can pain a little bit the best part about uh, this thing is that it's in your control you cannot just remove uh, extra hair you just want to remove that one strand so it's very good for um, shaping your eyebrows the third product which i prefer using is obviously the wax strips so these are self wax strip wax strips this is actually for legs but you can definitely use it to remove your facial hair as well there's no side effect of it i've been using this since so long now i prefer using this for my facial hair rather than any hair removal cream the third product which i already have is a trimmer so this is actually not a blade many of y'all are very curious about what this product is and people feel that when you use this on your face um, your you'll get more hard or thick hair but it's not like that this actually cuts your hair this doesn't it's not a blade so blade basically is like you know this will cut your hair blades are you know they make your hair more pointy so it's like they they cut in that slant position you could say and this cut in a straight position okay so when you cut anything in a straight position that will not be really pointy but if you cut something in a slant position that will definitely be um, pointy so I would suggest never use a blade this is this product is actually by wheat and this is actually a trimmer so there are two ends to it one is a um, smaller one this is basically used for shaping eyebrows and this one is for your face so you just need to turn this on and just start removing your hair I'm gonna use all these products definitely I'm not using hair removal cream because that is not what I prefer so the first product that I'll be starting with is a trimmer now I'll show you how to use this trimmer you need to turn this on I'm not gonna use this for my eyebrows if you want I can use this for you know this part to just show it to you all I think now it's clearly visible so I'm I'm gonna show you how I use this I'll turn this on now and I kind of try to shape my eyebrows so you just need to you know hold it 
and just start brushing over your this will always be very handy so you all can do this anytime and uh, just be very careful of your extra hair this is the easiest and it doesn't pain at all you can also use this for your upper lips if you all want to i'll do this once so i'm taking this longer part now I'm not sure if you all are able to see any difference but there is a little bit of difference now. This is how you use a trimmer and you can use this all over your face. I'm not going to use this all over my face because otherwise I won't be able to show you any difference with this one which is a waxing strip. Now actually I only have um, two waxing strips left inside here because I did not buy a new one. I'm going to do that once this gets over. The good part about this is that if you use this for your facial hair it doesn't get over really quickly. So I use this at least for three to four months with this you also get one wiping like you know finish wipe these finish wipes are very good because once you've used uh, your vaccine strips your face really becomes really very tacky and sticky and even if you use any water or something that won't really come out so if this one's over you all can even use coconut oil or any other oil facial oil to remove it so basically you just need some oil to remove the tackiness out i use this to basically wax my face and also my eyebrows so i'm gonna show you how i wax my eyebrows with this i'll take a scissor and i'm gonna cut this in strips not exactly measuring my eyebrows and cutting this off just randomly i'm just going to cut this off so i'll cut this like this much i need the middle part basically so i will cut this this is the wax strip which i need and obviously this is too long for my eyebrows so i'm going to cut this in half so these are the two strips which i'll be using for one side of my eyebrows and i will be showing y'all you just need to warm it a little bit with the uh, warmth of your finger that's it and then just remove it off so these are the two sides you just need to remove this off and then keep this aside for some time and then just hold your eyebrows up and try to create a shape by placing on the area So this is how I'm creating that arch. I'm pulling this upwards and then I'm just placing this over here. After some time just rip this off. So you could see that I got a little bit of hair on the ends. This basically would help it removing longer hairs. My hair is not that long so it won't come out. And then towards the inner side I'm just going to place my strip on over here somewhere and then just pull this up and rip this off i'm not sure if you are able to see the hair is like very very small and then i'm just going to use the same strip on the upper side as well to just clean my eyebrows so this is how i try to shape my eyebrows you can use this at least 3 to 4 times After I've waxed my eyebrows, I like using a tweezer to remove any minute hair which cannot come off with a wax uh, wax strip. I'm going to show you today how I use a tweezer to remove the extra hair out. If you don't have a tweezer, that is completely fine because um see, you don't need those perfect brows when you are at home. You just need to clean it off a little bit so that you don't look very awkward. Sometimes if you are if you have those facial hair, you feel a bit underconfident that's natural and that happens i am going to pick this one this is how i like to just you know shape my eyebrows perfectly and it is actually less painful than threading so if you all learn this trick guys it's it's a rescue for you all now once you're done with that you just need to use a oil like just take some on your finger in this case i'm using the virgin coconut oil which is this one i am just going to apply it over here and just massage it a bit after that you can use a scissor if you do not have a scissor a smaller scissor or you are not very good at you know you are not very precise at doing this don't try this because you can overcut anything but for this video i'm going to show you how to do that 
So for that you just need a spoolie to just comb your hair upwards. I'll try to cut it like this. This is how I cut my extra hair. Okay, so now how to remove your facial hair with vaccine. You just need to cut down small strips, like some broad strips you could say. Like this. So I just kind of, you know, measure a little bit. And then, of course, I am going to warm it a bit with my palm itself. And remove this off. And then just place it. Now be really careful with this one. You don't want to remove any extra hair. So be very, very careful with this one. I'm gonna zoom. I hope that it is visible. So you just need to pull your cheeks ahead. And try to place this. I don't like to remove this area, so I'm just gonna save that area and just press it a bit. Hold it from here and then. So here you could see some hair which has come off. And if you have any breakouts, don't do anything on that. I'm doing everything over this side because I don't have anything over here. I'm not gonna touch these. And then for your upper lips, you need to cut a smaller strip, like a thinner one. The same way, just warm it up with your fingers and then just place this over here. And then of course once you've done with that, just apply the same coconut oil or any other facial oil. I'm applying a virgin coconut oil because my face doesn't get very oily. It absorbs properly in my skin. Okay guys, I hope that you liked this video and it was really helpful for you all. I know you have to bring these products if you don't have at home. You could bring one of the products which could be really helpful for you all. You don't have any option right now. You are not able to go to the salon because of this thing and it's really frustrating. I know that. I'm just here to help you all because everybody was asking me to do this and I was like, okay, let's just show it how I shape my eyebrows how I remove my facial hair well I'm not gonna use the hair removal cream but how to use it you just need to apply it for three minutes on your skin like you need a thick layer to apply this all the instruction is behind here I mostly keep it for five to ten minutes because uh, I have longer hair right now if you have shorter hair you can keep this for three minutes but if you have longer hair you have to keep this for at least 10 minutes not more than that because maybe that can burn your skin as well a hair removal cream is a little bit more risky that's what i feel so just avoid that if you can if you can wax your legs and hands that's perfectly fine and that's the best i would say if you want to use a hair removal cream use it carefully i hope that i really helped you with this and it will really help you to maintain your facial hair as well as your eyebrows thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video and you want more such videos in future please let me know and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel all my socials are in the description box below you all can go and follow me there i keep on posting new things over there which i don't usually post on youtube if you all have any more requests you all can comment down below or you all can just dm me on any of my socials i will definitely reply to y'all and i will definitely fulfill your request thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye